That never gets old. I could watch that over and over and over again. Okay, everybody, welcome back to another episode of the On the Edge Mod Pack, and let's get right into it. From the title of the video, you can see that we are going to do the endergenic generator, and we are going to put it inside the wall. Uh, the reason there's not really too much chit chat this time is because whether or not I like it, probably many of the viewers right now are coming in uh, just to get the design. Um, so let's go ahead and and do that part. Uh, you can see I've already picked a spot in the wall. I'll be able to fit another one over here and then all the way up the wall if I need to. Um, I've pre-done some of this stuff. Uh, of course I've crafted the pieces and then I've put an ender chest inside there. I'll be able to feed the ender chest with this bag and then later on some other sort of automation. And I have a test rack in there that the uh, power will be able to send of course send the power to and I do have this on sending energy right yes all right so let's cover that up now that you know that that's in there so this is going to be uh, the visible area is going to be a 5 by 3 design um, I can't really say that the design is a 5 by 3 design just the visible area it's just that I'm going to be covering up the outside cables so it's actually going to be making it a 5 by 7 design which is still pretty compact so let's put on our first generator and then uh, right after that I want to put on the in pearl injector. Uh, the reason for that, you know, just getting it on right away so that I can hop inside here and set this to insert and then cover back up. And then we can go on with the rest of our video. I haven't tested it like this. Um, going upwards like this, uh, I know that you can set it on the side going inwards. I mean, going to you know, going in that way, and it, the pearl injector will feed pearls into the generator, but have not done this, so we'll try it out. We'll see. Um, if it doesn't work, then we'll make adjustments. So we'll throw on our others, and then go ahead and set them. So um, I'm going to link my other tutorials down in the description, uh, and then you'll be able to see. Uh, a better explanation of how this works and everything in those videos. Uh, this one we're just going to show you the setup assuming that you've seen the how-to videos or why these work. I've done two. Okay, so I should have grabbed some blocks. Uh, we'll, we'll just take these because I need to be able to set the monitors up. Uh, the ender monitors Um, like I was saying, if you've watched the tutorial video, they'll detect or we are going to set them to detect when a pearl has arrived inside each of these generators. Um, yeah, okay, I keep going back and forth on whether or not how much to, to describe. I think this video is solely going to be the design of it and not really a how-to. You're just going to have to watch the why it works videos to see why this is working but uh anyways you can just you know play this back and forward and and get the gist of if you miss something uh, how to set this up and to an aesthetically pleasing uh, power generation system uh, not that the other ones aren't, but you know, they're just kind of laying on the floor. This one is actually going to be in the wall. We're actually going to, and we're going to use some inverted lamps. Okay, not inverted lamps. We're going to use regular lamps, but we're going to light them up with redstone signal. If I, if I can get my little hands inside there, I might have to cut around the wall to do it. So now we're ready to put down some cable. Uh, we need each generator to have at least two connections to the cable so that one has two and we're just going to go all the way around the side anyways because of the inverted lamps we want them to touch the cable there we go and we're going to have this go down through the bottom and then just for symmetry oh well these have to be connected to the cable anyway so we'll go like that all right oh 
and then we have to have the timer shoot into the PRC and then here it is just for symmetry we'll put that guy on there so there we go very symmetrical besides this uh, being an injector and this being the timer otherwise it looks pretty good right so now I'm going to clean up the uh, extra connections here and uh, then we'll be right back and we'll start on the color coding okay so I'm back so I didn't actually clean up too much at all I started cleaning up a bunch of stuff but then, then I was thinking like see how this cable uh, has this connection here you don't need that connection but it looks like it's holding up the monitor this one too so I left this one up here and this one but then I took off the one that was in between these two and then same that one and that one so I don't really do too much so let's start the color coding uh, this is the first generator because the injector is going into here so the first generator we are going to use orange and then we want the signal to come back around and hit the generator again so we are going to use orange up here and then this being the second one we're going to use the second color and anything that is white isn't going to have oh, I did not want to do that there we go I hope that's correct we'll do it anyways so that's going to be the second color and then this one here is going to be the second color magenta and then we have the third generator here which is going to be a light blue and we'll do the light blue down here so last generator is going to be yellow and then this if I could reach it is yellow all right so now when the pearl is caught by the by the next generator in line we want to send a signal back to the previous one to get it into charging mode again so when magenta get catches a pearl we want it to send a signal here and same with this one being blue and so on so this one will be yellow and then this one will be orange oh. okay uh, the timer we want it to get a signal from light blue to reset it and uh, again that's something that I explained in the tutorial videos and we want to send a signal to green which is right after yellow and then the pearl injector will get a pink signal now something different from the regular programming from the other tutorials is that we have all of the cable going into one side so we only have to worry about inputting one side uh, the only thing that we're gonna have to do different here is we're just gonna have to know that green is going in from the left side and not all from the other like the same side as the other ones so that should be it for color coding now we're ready to program all right so when we we when we get the signal from uh, the timer which is actually gonna kick off our generators we want it to do a fan out so we're gonna get that from in out left and we're gonna get it from the green signal and then we're gonna send that signal to in out up to the four generators oops so that's gonna be orange pink blue and yellow and then we're gonna have one more but it's gonna be a variable we're gonna do variable zero um, that's gonna be sending out to the injector so the second program here we are gonna take uh, we're gonna make it a delay because we want the generators to start their their charge mode before the injector actually shoots a pearl into the first generator so we want our signal to come from variable zero just like here we sent it to variable zero and then we want it to be we'll just do a one tick delay that should be enough uh, just to kick it off and then we want to send it out to uh, to up and pink okay and then that should be it for all of our programming pretty easy right um, so yeah we're gonna get our signal in from green it'll go into the left side and then all the other signals will go out through the up 
see through the up. and then uh, we should everything should be connected the only things that aren't connected is this side which doesn't matter it's just for looks and then this side for that all right so let's set this to 30 ticks all right and then here is the big test to see if it actually works because it should be functional now in fact let's do it with our ender bag since we set this up we'll throw one in should grab it and we should start seeing some particles if it's working and I saw no particles did we get any power at all we did not okay well let me troubleshoot this and then find out what's going on or maybe we should just throw a bunch in yeah okay so something with this I'll look at it and I'll be right back okay folks I just realized what it was I haven't fixed it yet but I already know that this is the problem I never changed these to pearl arrived you want to make sure and do that um, I always forget to do at least one thing okay so that should be it let's throw one in and we should see some particles happen now yep there we go see now it's working just like that one little problem so let's see what kind of power we're getting and so that's 1200 12 and it looks like it turned off on us all right we'll throw all these back in okay this should be looks like 11 is sticking at 1280 ooh 2560 okay 12 and 12 so somebody asked a question on one of my videos that he put you know set up the generator and three of them were making a certain amount of power but then one of them wasn't he was asking well why is that and the answer is is that I really don't know uh, sometimes it's just positioning like I could rebuild this thing over here and then we'll get different numbers so it's not consistent it's just you know that's not a bad number to have it would be better to have this number but for some reason we're just not gonna get that where it is here in this position I could even make this thing go up and down whoops up and downwards instead of long ways like it is and it could have different numbers so as far as the timing and everything of, or how it decides how much power it's going to do I'm not sure but uh so we threw I think seven pearls inside there so let's see what's going on so out of seven pearls we've got four million there two million there two million there and about two million there so not a bad power generation so that was a setup on how to put this into your wall now let's make it look better I'm gonna see if I can start I wish they would turn off okay they're off now I want to see if I can be, reach these and I can okay so uh, just through messing with these before and I want this one to be blue I kind of want like this one to fire when the blue ones firing so we'll do blue so what I've found out through messing around is I think that these blocks power each other like see how all three of them are getting powered even though I only set that one to blue and I think it's only the ones that touch it so if I do this one right so it's not going to be powered and that's not going to be powered either so what I want to do is I want that one to be blue and I want this one over here to be blue So it's kind of a catty corner sort of deal. So just sort of following that logic, I would like this one to be yellow. If I can grab this here. Yellow. And so if this one is going around the corner and then doing that, this one's going to go around the corner and then be up here. So this one will be yellow. Yellow. All right, so this one's orange 
and then this one going around the corner and that one will be orange over here so let's just set that while we were in the heat over in this area orange set that there we'll do orange all right so then we have pink here and then pink there or magenta there we go let's see if we can reach in there magenta and magenta okay that should be all of our sides so if we do all this and they're all blinking at once because uh, it's set so that when the timer sends a signal in here all three of them will go into charging mode at once so what we should see when we put a pearl inside is that there should be some rotation and I hope that that works yep there it is look at that rotation so that's how you know that it's that a pearl is inside there and actually working because uh, you won't be able to see the particles except for I guess this one right here and that's it but yeah so that's what it will look like uh, we do want to put some glass over it I did have some gray glass that I was going to use by it you know you kind of you want to see it so you don't want to make it too dark so I grabbed the quite clear uh, glass will be that we've been using for everything else and we'll just put that on and see how that stands out and there we go oh do we like that how it's connecting right there I don't I don't think that I like that can you really tell okay I'll need someone to comment should I get inside there and unconnect those or leave them because it's not really like if you're looking right at it it's still the same so everybody that's the episode that's how you set up the wall design that's how you set up the endergenic generator with the two channel program that's much better and superior to my first six channel program uh, it's small enough that I'm gonna be able to get another one inside this wall here and still have a space in between and we'll just go all the way up with it and now we have some major power generation going on here um, I didn't really count up how much it is per tick so let's see 25 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 so that's 36 plus 25 is 5061 so 6100 RF a tick roughly is what this thing is making so that's not too bad compared to everything else we've had and once we have it infused it'll make you know it'll make about 50 percent more power and that's just a guess this is all guessing work you can set it up and then the machines will make the amount of power that it's going to make anyways thanks for coming by uh if you're a subscriber you know you can just keep on watching my videos and i'll try to keep interesting things like this going on if you are just passing by uh looking for a tutorial on how to do the endergenic generator and set it up nice inside this wall I don't know where I'm going to get a screenshot and make it look good. Um, you know, maybe consider watching some of the other videos or becoming a subscriber or I don't know, just hanging around and seeing what else we do. But uh, you all have a great day and we will see you all next time. Bye.